Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And in this video, I wanna be showcasing some of the Sans Holiday Hack Challenge for the year 2020. So this is KringleCon 3. This is the third virtual conference over at Santa's Village over in the North Pole. We've been at Elf University, we've been at Santa's Castle, we've been all over the place, and now we're doing something new for Sans Holiday Hack Challenge 2020. And I am super duper excited about this video series. I, I have completed the Sans Holiday Hack Challenge. I've worked through all the objectives already, so I will be going through them in review, um, but still hopefully exploring some fun stuff and making it a good time for us all. But I absolutely love this exercise, this activity, this war game. This is one that I look forward to every single year. Counter Hack. The other individuals, everyone involved in putting this together, Ed Scotus and his team does a phenomenal job putting together the Sands Holiday Hack Challenge. So I'm super duper looking forward to it. I've been doing this since like 2015 when I first heard about the thing, but um, I, I still need to finish up writing my report. But uh, hey, I want to get some videos out and prepared and ready for this thing. So uh, without further ado, let's dive in. Alrighty, I am on HolidayHackChallenge.com, and that is where you'll kind of see like the promo. Hey, you know, like the, the all the information to go ahead and get started for the Holiday Hack Challenge for 2020. Looking at Kringle Con three, um, so this one is kind of themed and called is that you Santa Claus and it's all about Kringle Con 3 the three French hens so I like that little pun there um there is a note here the submission deadline has been extended to January 11th and that I appreciate so it gives me a little bit of time to record and get my report done so here we are um, we can, if we wanted to get started, and if you were kind of new to this, you could check out the talk over on their YouTube channel. They showcase all the different talks as part of the conference as online YouTube videos. And each talk will offer a little bit of some clues and some nudges and some subtle hints and nods to what you might be doing in a specific task or objective as part of the Sands Holiday Hack Challenge. Uh, this year they are using a Discord server, so if you need to check in with anyone, just hey, a little sanity check, a benchmark, can someone please tell me that I'm not crazy when you're trying some idea, etc, etc. Um, but really, all we need to do here is just play the game, right? And the Sans Holiday Hack Challenge offers sort of like a, a little video game-like structure, right? Where you have a little avatar that can bump around and move around in the digital world. Um, and it's fun. It's, it's a good time. Some folks, I don't know if they like it. Some folks think it's kind of cute and enjoyable. You can get your kids to play. Uh, it's fun. It's fun. <laughs> we'll just say it's fun. Uh, and we can go ahead and click on this link here that'll take us to KringleCon. But we are going to hop on Santa's gondola for our ride to the North Pole. Let's go ahead and do it. I'll hop over to KringleCon. There we go. And we load here. I'll go ahead and log in. And there we go. Here we are. You can see my cheesy little avatar. <laughs> John Hammond YouTube with the U, so it's cool. Um, and I'll zoom in here so this is a little bit readable. And I will also minimize my giant face in the way. <laughs> so, there we go. Let's move me up to the... Uh, we'll stay down bottom. It's all cool. I see our good friend Jingle Ringford here, a little elf we could chat with. So I'm using my arrow keys to move around. You could, of course, click around if you are kind of new to this realm here, uh, but I tend to like to use the arrow keys. But clicking on Jingle Ringford will start up a conversation with him, and we can hop in the gondola to take up exit 19 and go to the castle. Santa asked me to design the new badge for this year, and he wanted it to look really cool, like it's frosty. Okay, click on your badge, the snowflake in the center of your avatar to read your objectives. So we can go ahead and do that. If you'd like to chat with the community, you can join us on the Discord server. And there's a link to join their Discord there. We have specially appointed Kringle Concierge as helpers. You can hit them up for help in the general channel if you'd like to. If you get a minute, check out Ed Scotus's official introduction to the conference. That's that YouTube video. Oh, and before you head off up the mountain, you might want to try and figure out what's written on that advertising billboard. Hmm. Have you managed to read the gift list at the center? 
Um, so for those of you that might not notice or see it, if I were to hop over to the top left here, and I'll zoom out just so you can kind of get a glimpse of the world, there is a little billboard up here. It says, visit the North Pole at exit 19, and it is a hyperlink. You can see kind of the, the notification down at the bottom that a link popped up from this little button here, and that billboard we could click on. So it looks like we have to potentially find out the gifts. Let me keep chatting with Jingle Ringford and see what else we got here. It can be hard when things are twirly. There are tools that can help. It also helps to select the correct twirly area. And the three ellipses kind of denotes that's the end of all the conversation he could offer. And now he'll replay or repeat what he was speaking of. So a lot of things to unpack here, right? We have our badge in the center here. And if you were talking to Jingle Ringford for the very first time, he'd go ahead and tell you. And all that dialogue would pop up. You'll see kind of little notifications or pop-ups down on the bottom left of your screen while well, you'll get new objectives or new hints that we could use. So if I were to click on my badge here, I have all these things kind of that I could click on in a sub menu on the left. The narrative looks like I have zero out of seven. So this is all blurry and I haven't unlocked anything just yet, but the objectives we could check out. We see objective number one is to uncover Santa's gift list. It is rated one out of five red Christmas trees in difficulty. And there's a photo of Santa's desk on that billboard with his personal gift list. What gift is Santa planning on getting Josh Wright for the holidays? Talk to Jingle Ringford at the bottom of the mountain for advice. So sort of like a capture the flag, right? Exactly like a war game or an exercise, we'll just have to type in the correct answer as we go ahead and find the solution. So... What you need to go. So we need to go take a look at that billboard here. I will hop on over again to that little corner and I'll zoom out so I can click on that. And here is the image that we're working with, right? So it's kind of big. I'm scrolling down because this is a large image, right? Maybe it's just because I'm way zoomed in. There we go. Visit the North Pole, exit 19, and we can see the Kringle Con coin. I see a nice little Raspberry Pi over here. Maybe an elf on the shelf, potentially, over on the left. A Coke Zero, I like that. And this is the Enigma, that is awesome. Little TARDIS. And my personal gift list looks like has twisted text. I've done some image manipulation to kind of distort that. Um, and we need to figure out what that really says. So initially, when I saw this, uh, I thought my first reaction was like, oh, I've seen Sans do this before. This is oftentimes a net wars. And I thought this was a GIMP or like a Photoshop filter to whirl and pinch. Um, and you can multiply, you can adjust kind of the, the dial as to how much whirl you want in that whirlpool or where you're going to end up pinching it, be the center point of that. Uh, and, and those are the things you could potentially do, right? Uh, I spent some time <laughs> doing that in GIMP and it did not really work out all that well. So uh, admittedly, I, I will hop back over to our badge and this whole thing is for learning, right? We're here to learn, we're here to grow, we're here for some education. So I don't think there's any shame in taking a look at the hints. So as we were talking with Jingle Ringford, we may very well have seen these little pop-ups and notifications down at the bottom left, and it'll tell us you've unlocked a new hint. All right. So one hint that we see is this image edit tool. And this is telling us who this hint came from, right? The elf that we talked to and the objective what this is pertinent to for the task that we're trying to work on. It says there are tools out there that could help filter the distortion that is this twirl. And this looks like a hyperlink. I see it's taking me to photop.com. We also have the twirl area, so we'll click on that. Make sure you lasso the correct twirly area. Okay, so I'll go ahead and click on this photop website and I'll hop over there as this page loads, there we go. Now I'm working in Photop. And it's like this online, like in your web browser image editor. And that's kind of neat, that's kind of cool. So it looks like all we have to do is load in the image of the, the Santa's gift list that we need to untwirl and see if we can use some of the filters to properly 
make that readable or legible. So let's go ahead and do that. I will go download this picture. I'm gonna hop over to that billboard and save it. I guess I'll just throw it like on my desktop temporarily. I am working in Windows right now, so please, and I know, every, I know everyone's gonna hate me, <laughs> but let's go ahead and open this. I just clicked on the file menu there. Now I'll select that billboard.png that I have saved in my desktop. I accidentally created a shortcut. Anyway, let's open the thing. There we go. Okay. So now I will try and zoom in here. Can I do that? Can I just control plus on the keyboard? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so that works great. And I can click and drag with my mouse. So if I have this section here, the personal gift list, and I need to potentially find out what Josh Wright had in the list, I see Ed up here with two front teeth. I see Jerry with the trip to the North Pole down at the bottom, but presumably Josh Wright is in this list. So we need to go ahead and correct this. I'll use that lasso tool that they're referring to. And you can see that as kind of like the lasso looking icon or the hotkey L. So I'll try and select this section and I'm doing a really bad job of it. <laughs> I'll try and select this whirlpool, right? Or the twirly area. And now I'll hop over to that filter menu here. Because if I were to use that distort little sub menu, I see twirl. And I kind of clued in on that from the hint that we read, right? If there's a filter we could use to remove the distortion that is this twirl, let's use that. Okay, and now this little box popped up and I could adjust the angle or how this is twirled. So let me try and rotate this. It looks like to the right. Oh, and I actually see Josh Wright somewhat legible already there, right? See if we can get that any cleaner. Josh Wright, no, it looks like he's getting pulled, but I can read that I think just barely. I see Prox Mark. Do you see the same thing? Yeah, that PROX looks pretty clear and crisp. M, that is an A I'm feeling. Prox Mark, that might be what we need to submit. Maybe that's what Josh Wright wants for Christmas and that's on the gift list. So that's all we needed to do for this challenge. Looks like I see Clay wants a Darth Vader suit. I see, uh, is that Todd? Is that Ted? I, they want holiday lights, okay. Jeremy maybe wants a blanket. Brian, I can't tell what that says. Ellie, all right, <laughs> whatever. We don't need to. We don't need to keep tinkering. We we know the answer that we want now. So let's hop back over to our badge within KringleCon, and let's go ahead and submit Proxmark as our answer. Click submit here, and there we go. All right, achievement unlocked. We uncovered the Christmas list, and now we could see that item in our badge. Right, we have marked this. First objective as complete. Excellent. We still don't have any narratives unlocked, but we could go talk to Jingle Ringford. We could go talk to that elf and see if there's anything new that he might be able or willing to tell us. So what's up, Jingle? How's it going? Great work with that. I'm sure you'll be able to help us with more challenges up at the castle. Yep, that's it. <laughs> all right, that's all he's going to give me. Let's hop in this little tram here and let's go up to the... Santa's castle. Ooh, a lot of stuff. New narrative, another objective. Okay, <laughs> that, that all went away. Uh, but I see some more elves here as I'm hopping around. Jewel Loggins. Welcome to the Santa's Holiday Hack Challenge 2020. Have a great time. Be sure to join us on Discord. Yep, yep. Remember you can get hints for each of the objectives in your badge by clicking on the elves. If you help elves solve their own technical terminal challenge, they'll give you some ideas about how to approach the objectives. Oh, and if you see any odd objects lying around, walk over them to pick them up. You might even find one as you approach the castle. Okay, and that's the end of the dialogue there. Um, what else we got? We got Peppermint Stinks. <laughs> Peppermint Sticks, sorry, she doesn't stink. Howdy, 
I've been playing with Tmux lately, and golly, it's useful. Problem is, I somehow detached from my session. Do you think you could get me back to where I was, admiring a beautiful bird? If you find it handy, there's a Tmux cheat sheet you can use as a reference. Ooh, another hint. Good. I hope you can help. And if we were to click on that unescape Tmux little terminal challenge, we could probably work with that. Oh, there's Santa! And the three French hens! Oh, this is so cool. All right, Shinny up a tree. It looks like you have Kringle Kiosk as a terminal challenge and investigate S3 bucket. So what do you have to say? Hi, I'm Shinny up a tree. Check out this cool Kringle Con Kiosk. <laughs> it's quite a, a Kringle Con tongue twister. You can get a map of the castle, learn about where the elves are and get your own badge. I didn't read that in time. Be careful with that last one though. I heard someone say it's ingestible or something. Oh, command injection hint. Do you think you could check and see if there is an issue. Uh, okay. Maybe we can do that next, but let's chat with Santa and these elves. <laughs> oh, excuse me, the, these French hens. Uh, bonjour. <laughs> That's nice. That's very nice. Santa, what's up, my man? Well, hello and welcome to the North Pole. We're super excited about this year's KringleCon 3 French Hens. My elves have been working all year to upgrade the castle. It was a huge construction project and we've nearly completed it. Please pardon the remaining construction dust around the castle and enjoy yourselves. Okay, looks like that's all he's willing to give me. So, looks like we have a few things we could do here. Um, the Unescaped Tmux Terminal Challenge is something we could go take a look at. And there's also this KringleCon Kiosk. Let's do a little sanity check and check out our badge. Uh, narrative, looks like we have got the first narrative down. Now, Kringle Khan, back at the castle, set the stage, but it's under construction like my GeoCities page. Ooh. And now we have five new objectives, or we, now we have five objectives in total. We got four more after we finish the first one. So we need to investigate the S3 bucket. When you unwrap the overwrapped file, what text string is inside the package? Talk to Shinny up a tree in front of the castle for hints on this challenge. Okay, so we need to talk with Shinny up a tree, and he's the one that's asking us to do the um, Kringle kiosk challenge. So we have some hints for that, and we also have the one for the Tmux cheat sheet with Pepper Minstinks over there. So we've got a few things we can do, tackle some new challenges and objectives, and keep cruising through this, but... I think that's enough for this video. You know, we've been talking for a while and I hope this kind of whets your appetite and gets you interested in having fun with what the Sans Holiday Hack Challenge is all about. Let's, uh, let's do this in the next video, but I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you're gonna enjoy and have some fun with this video series. So uh, thanks so much for watching everybody. I will close out the video now. Um, I am still playing with this new like video style and structure. I hope you don't mind like the little circle webcam or if there's there's anything good or bad with the lights or the audio, like let me know. I want to know. I'm trying to trying to make this fun and make this good and make it quality. So uh, thanks so much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press that like button, leave a comment, do the subscribe, hit the bell, all of the YouTube algorithm things. Thank you so, so much, everybody. I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. With the